up, internet world? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Back with another 30 minute in real life video. So, right now, I'm starting off with food. I just left one of the bars and I'll just leave it at that. I was hanging out alone, I wasn't with anyone. The time right now is. Uh, 2.23 in the afternoon. I just got like this awesome burrito from this burrito shop here in the Castro. Make sure you support your local businesses. Make sure you support your Castro businesses. But for now, let's just, um, you know, do a little um, sit down video, a little eat video. I'm kind of cold right now. So what I'm gonna do is pull, oh, I can do that, right? Y'all gonna let me put my jacket on, okay? Today is um, not the busiest day in the city. This is just one, one thing I've noticed. It's not too busy. I have certain things I can tell based off of like traffic downtown at certain places and then also the certain uh, days of the week. Things are busy on certain days, things are not so busy on other days. And this is one of the weekends where it's not as busy. So if you want to see some more action, we are here at Castro on 18th. This is a popular spot. You guys may say, wow, you always hang out at Castro on 18th. I actually, I kind of don't. I'm here randomly on a Saturday, and Saturday I'm usually not ever in this part of town. But I, I, I love Castro, Castro is awesome. If you are someone that's traveling to the city, you should, I, I recommend you should come by the Castro. If you're someone who is part of the community, I, I, I'd say you should probably come by the Castro. Castro is a pretty cool place, there's a lot of a lot of history here. There's a lot of music. There's a couple of different museums. Not a lot, but there's a lot of things they do here. There's museums over here. There's um, there, there's K hotels. If you if you know about that, if that's your thing. I don't expect a large percentage of people to be into things like you know, K hotels. <laughs> there's also Twin Peaks. That's not too far from here. If you are somewhat in shape, you, you, you'd probably be able to hike right up to Twin Peaks. Awesome place. And there's also myself here. Something very interesting about living in San Francisco, I would love to point out here, is when you live in San Francisco, you you build this sort of connection with certain places, certain neighborhoods that you go to that you frequently visit. And some places are, you know, touristy, some places are not touristy. But what I'm trying to say is at the end of the day, you find places that you go to all the time. And I find places I go to all the time. And that's just kind of how it, that's just city life. It's very similar in New York. You know, you live in X neighborhood, you go to X places in X neighborhood all the time because that's, that's where you go, you know. I think my last in real life video I did, I was eating Mexican food as well. I was eating Mexican food from Chipotle. It was a bowl, a, a, a bowl. So right now I'm eating this place in the Castro, which I, I've already showed off, but this is like a local place and I want you guys to know that this is a cool place to get burritos. I, I really like this place in the Castro because if you don't get meat or cheese, they charge you less. There's places in the Mission District that does the exact same thing. I will definitely go make videos of the places in the Mission District very soon. I've kind of just started off with this in real life 30 minute video a day type thing and I really want to bite this burrito so let me take a little pause.
All right, so back to the burrito. Now we're back to the, you know, the, the in real life videos. Or, no. Yeah, in real life videos, burritos, Mission District. So as of now, I'm just, I wanna start this whole in real life video thing. And I'll, I'm gonna give you guys the key breakdown of why I want to start these videos. The reason why is, I noticed on YouTube, podcasting is getting very popular. You know, if you know a lot of things about podcasting, podcasting is the type of content where it's just voice for the most part. Some podcasting is voice and video. Majority of podcasting is just voice, right? With a loud truck. So if voice video is getting that popular, well, if you have video of voice, that's just as good, or it's almost better because, you know, if people are able to watch. Some people are driving cars, right? Some people are driving Uber. Some people are driving on road trip and they're listening in and with headphones in, like I always have my headphones in. I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna take another bite and then I'll try to remember what I was saying a minute ago. <laughs> So much action going on in the city right now. Basically, you got two types of things going on. You got like podcasting. And podcasting is a type of content where people are in, usually indoors with like a high quality mic. And they're, they're talking about a particular item or a particular thing, all right? And then you also have video content, which is kind of like podcast form, high quality mics, video you can see but then you also have people that drive cars people that drive trucks people that are traveling people that are doing something where they can listen but they can't really watch right? but if you can if you can master both of those if you can have hot high quality video and also you can um, make video that is able for people to watch like what I'm trying to do with this whole in real life type of deal. Yeah, you should probably be very successful. Yeah. Question, how many, how many like electric cars do I see? How many EVs do I see? We'll keep the camera here for like, I don't know, maybe two minutes or something. But I want you to see how many bikers, how many electric cars, how many, yeah, like how much action do I see? And while y'all are looking at this, I am looking at burrito.
Yo, if you buy a car, you should buy a Tesla. And it's gonna keep it real. And if y'all are watching my videos, you know that like, I'm not some crazy ass like Democrat. And I'm not some crazy ass Republican either. So I, I'm calling both of them crazy, right? I find myself far in the middle. Maybe when I first moved here, maybe I would pick one side more so, but today I look at the like economic situation and I look at how the world is and I say that I am not with either, either system. I, I'm just not. No. If you like uh, from the Republican Party or from the Democratic Party, you want me to pick a side? I'm telling you, give me 200, give me 200k. I, I'll pick your side, yo. Whatever, like hit me up on the email. 200k. I'll pick a side. You know, I'm not gonna be pushing all your propaganda, but uh, I, I'll just be like, yo, I'm this or that. Or if one side wanted to give my people, you know reparations or something because if you give my people re reparations I wouldn't qualify for those reparations but what I would do is I could benefit greatly from the people that did qualify for reparations because they were hard people like me you know what I'm saying so anyway I want to show y'all something in a second but I'm gonna give it um a minute so I'm gonna tell y'all something else here too so I've been doing like these videos in San Francisco for years, right? I want to make sure the video, the camera's on. Right? So yes, yeah, so I've been doing these videos for years, and one thing I noticed is like, hey, this is something deep. This is something that your your YouTubers that get promoted by YouTube, they're not going to talk about this because they're only going to make like two, three videos a month, but they're not going to talk about this, but. The thing that happens around here is, you know, certain things you, you want to, like, stream, you want to put on camera, but certain things and certain people, you know that you probably shouldn't show them off. I'm going to tell y'all something, like, I was, um, there was some storm going on, and I can easily say this because we had a lot of storms going on this year. It was a storm going on and I went out. I think I was streaming and I went out with my camera and I was catching some footage, right? Wow, this is crazy, right? I'm not gonna say what type of footage I was catching, but what I will say is what I saw was crazy that was going on. That was going on in the city. It was mother nature. It wasn't like a person did this. It was, you know, wind, it was rain. But when I went down to film this sort of situation, I um, kind of thought that maybe I should go uh, Maybe not upload this, this is really cool. It might get a lot of views, but maybe I shouldn't upload this. So I just filmed it, edited it, uploaded it to YouTube, but never promoted it, you know? And it was basically like some people down there and they were like the type of folks that were they got they got control over type of things, you know? And then when I saw them I was like, no, nah, I don't even wanna put this out there. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to film but like I'm not gonna put it out there. It kinda like ever since then I kinda like flipped the script, you know. I don't think I want to undo disasters, but check this out. If a big earthquake hits this shit, I'll be out making like mad videos for it. Something else with this long in real life videos. So like, look, I don't mean to be a creep, but like, I was gonna tell y'all what I was looking at because I'm real and I'm 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 real, right? Basically, that was, but it was like, um, like, I'm in a relationship and I love my partner and I won't cheat on my partner, right? I go to bars all the time, I get wasted. I go to bars all the time, I get chicks trying to sleep with me, bro. I got dudes trying to sleep with me, bro. 
I got hot dudes that are like, I just wonder like, damn. <laughs> you know, but like, I, I'm in a relationship, so I'm not like a cheater, but the truth is, this walk by was like, mad hot, bro. And I'm gonna keep it real. I would try to talk to that chick. And I would tell that chick, I would keep it 100. I'd be like, yo. Well, I, honestly, I wouldn't like go all the time and be like, yo, you hot or anything. But like, I'd be like 100, like, I'm in a relationship. I'm in a very open relationship. We're very open-minded individuals and you're hot and I would love to hang out and chill, you know? Because that chick did just walk by right now, bro. I spent a lot of time in the cash room. I don't see, I don't see, I don't, I don't know if I should say chicks or whatever. I don't know what's the exact, like, democratic, like, proper term to say, but basically, that was not, a, that didn't, that did not appear to look like a dude, right? And I would totally, you know, be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? You know? Stop talking because I'm, I'm I'm a real person and I was talking and I kind of got nervous. But I'm a real person and I will prove that I'm real because I will upload. Is this the same as the live stream? Because if it was live stream, I would have probably kept talking. Why am I still holding this freaking burrito? Alright, we got like eight minutes to go. I gotta get out of this place. You know, I promise I won't come here for like weeks. Oh, it was some car I've like never seen before. Another interesting thing about living in the city, you you see things that like other folks don't see, right? Waymo. Cruise, you know all the town, like all, you know that crap, buildings, like all that stuff, crazy people all the time, right? Because you live in the city, you walk down the streets, you see the crazy people. But when you don't live in the city, maybe you don't see crazy people all the time, and maybe you also don't see things like you know the autonomous cars, the Waymo, the cruise, the, the, that sort of thing. I kind of noticed that recently it has been a lot more, a lot more time in this car is having it's cool. And I also like to show the balance of the city, like the, the difference, the traffic, the people, the light. A story about this Walgreens here. I can tell you. Well, I can't really tell you too many stories about it, but I can tell you stories about how I've seen like mad teenagers like basically looting the store. 
And when I mean by mad teenagers looting the store, I'm talking about you take like it was like ten kids. They were in this store and they like ran out with stuff like it. It looks like it wasn't too much uh, things of high value. It was things like you know sodas, drinks, waters, chips, candy, r r really cheap stuff. You know. Not organized crime. It looked like <laughs> all those kids were probably going home to their parents, you know. Um, something about the cash flow I'm just gonna point out is let's talk about the cash flow for a minute because these are long videos, and if you like long videos, you like long videos. Cash flow on the weekends is a different beast. I don't. I'm never. Here on the weekends, usually. So as of today, it's Saturday and I'm here, but that's because I'm not exactly hanging out with my partner for. It's a long story. We went to some party and like I didn't like the party and like my I don't know. We ended up, you know, we haven't like seen each other since that party. But I did make reservations for us to go to this restaurant we used to go to all the time at 5:30. But anyway, cash show. The weekends, cash show is usually full of tourists, but right now, cash show is. There. Like I said, I'm here on a Saturday. It's Saturday at. 2. I'm here in the cash show at Saturday at 2.46 p.m. There's definitely tourists around, but normally two is not the most popping time for the Castro. Maybe at like 10 a.m. there's a lot of folks around, but then the Castro's kind of dead until like maybe six, seven, eight, and then after eight, you're gonna notice that man, this neighborhood gets, this neighborhood starts to change. Like it starts to get nuts. It starts to get busy. People walking everywhere. That sort of thing. I noticed in the cash row there's this uh, there's this Bank of America and there's this other bank on the other corner here. What I'm gonna do if you guys are still watching this video, I'm gonna show this 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 bank here and then I'll walk up the street in real life video. And then I'll show you the other building. They look very similar. I believe the one on the corner used to be a Bank of America, but this one is one I think Bank of America is like slowly dying off. It's becoming some other thing. It's cash flow. Traffic people. I love all the dudes wearing short shorts. For the most part. A lot of the dudes that are out right now are tourists. And this is kind of how it is on Saturdays. It's very touristy. This Mexican restaurant's good, yo. I promise, I'll go to the Mission District, especially if these videos get views. I'll go to the Mission District and I will um, I'll show off. I gotta turn the camera. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? What's up, man, bro? How's it going? How y'all doing? doing? Good. I'm just doing a... I'm doing an in-real life video. You can totally talk. Okay. I, it's pointed this way. Right. How y'all doing? I'm great. We'll be out here on the 20 seconds, man. You're filming yourself eating? Yeah. It's a thing. It is? It's right. <laughs> it is a thing. Also, I mean the burrito from here. It's a uh, black beans, rice. Are you rating it? 
I'm rating it. I'm doing this new thing where I make these um, 30 minute video, 30 minute videos of in real life where like you don't edit. That's why I turned the camera off. Mm, I can't show y'all, you, you know. What? But these people are really cool. I can't show y'all because it's for you. I can't show y'all, but I can show y'all later. But I'll be there on the 22nd. Right? Yeah, I can't wait, yo. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, can't wait. I told him. Yeah. Awesome. Tell your friends. I will. I will. I will. I'll do it tomorrow. Remind me, I have to post something online tomorrow for another insane bike ride in San Francisco because that's what happens. <laughs> We have insane bike rides in the city. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna wrap this up because I haven't finished all of this. I'm never in this neighborhood at this hour, bro. It's nuts. <laughs> it is nuts, dude. Wow. So much eye candy, bro. So much eye candy around here, dude. I thought the Castro was like the super like gay neighborhood, but I, I think it's so, bro. You, you should check out the Castro, bro. Super much eye candy. So anyway, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get off here. Maybe I should like, you know, go from 18th to cash show and like show off some stuff. Take this video along in 30 minutes. If you wanna know the people I just got done talking to, there are people that, they're, uh, they're really popular in uh, the, the, you know, the, I don't know if I want to say this like on YouTube, but like, you know, people who ride bikes, but they don't like wear anything when they ride the bikes in the city. I've made, definitely made a lot of videos like that. They're really cool videos, but I just talked to them. And now I'm gonna like, you know, take this burrito because I want to eat this later. But I also have the restaurant I have to go to in the Marina Wild Seed. I don't know if my partner would be down with it. My partner, Lori, I don't know if my partner would be down with it, but I would love to make an in real life video there because it's a really nice restaurant and it would be someone else. It wouldn't just be my boring self. Okay. For now, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. Here's my, my backpack, I'm gonna stick this in here. And I'm gonna eat this later because I will get really hungry in like 20 minutes. <laughs> but for now, that's what we got going on with this here. It's the first of the month. I notice there's not a lot of tourists in this city. Yeah. Y'all need some burritos in the cash show? Yeah, you should check out this place, yeah. Get them good burritos, yo. But for now, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, I wasn't riding around doing stuff, but this is what we got going on in this video. See you later, alligator. Bye bye.